How do I make an HTTP request in JavaScript? Making an HTTP request in JavaScript involves using the built-in XML HTTP request object or the newer page API. In this detailed guide, we'll explore both options, providing a step-by-step -step explanation of how to make HTTP requests using JavaScript. We'll cover topics such as setting headers, handling different types of requests, handling responses, and working with asynchronous code. By the end, you'll have a thorough understanding of how to make HTTP requests in JavaScript. Making an HTTP request in JavaScript involves using the built-in XML HTTP request object or the newer page API. In this detailed guide, we'll explore both options, providing a step-by-step -step explanation of how to make HTTP requests using JavaScript. We'll cover topics such as setting headers, handling different types of requests, handling responses, and working with asynchronous code. By the end, you'll have a thorough understanding of how to make HTTP requests in JavaScript. Introduction to HTTP Requests HTTP, Hypertext Transfer Protocol, is a protocol used for communication between a client, such as a web browser, and a server. HTTP requests allow clients to request resources from servers, and servers respond with the requested data. JavaScript provides two main ways to make HTTP requests, the older XML HTTP request object and the newer page API. 2. The XML HTTP request object. The XML HTTP request object is the traditional way to make HTTP requests in JavaScript. It supports all HTTP methods, including GET, POST, PUT, DELETE, and more. 2.1.CREATING an XML HTTP request object. To create an XML HTTP request object, you can use the new XML HTTP request constructor. 2.2.MAKING a GET request. To make a GET request using XML HTTP request, follow these steps. 1. Open the request by calling the open method, specifying the HTTP method and the URL of the resource. 2. Set any request headers using the set request header method if needed. 3. Register an event listener for the load event to handle the response. 2.3.MAKING a POST REQUEST To make a POST request using XML HTTP request, the process is similar to a GET request, with a few additional steps. 1. Open the request by calling the OPEN method, specifying the HTTP method, URL, and set the content type header. 2. Create a payload data to send in the request body. 3. Register an event listener for the load event to handle the response. 2.4.SETTING request headers. To set request headers, use the set request header method before sending the request. 2.5.HANDLING response data. To handle the response data, you can access it through the response text property of the XML HTTP request object. Depending on the expected response format, you might need to pass the response data accordingly. For example, if the response is JSON, you can pass it using JSON. 2.6.HANDLING errors. You can handle errors by registering an event listener for the error event. This allows you to catch any network errors that might occur during the request. 3. The Fetch API. The Fetch API is a newer and more modern way of making HTTP requests in JavaScript. It provides a more flexible and promise-based approach compared to XML HTTP request. 3.1.MAKING a GET request. To make a GET request using the Fetch API, you can use the Fetch function. 3.2.MAKING a POST request To make a POST request using the Fetch API, the process is similar to a GET request, with a few additional steps. 3.3.SETTING request headers. To set request headers with the Fetch API, you can include the headers property in the request options. 3.4.HANDLING response data. To handle the response data, you can chain a, then, method to the fetch promise. You can access the response data using methods like response, json, for json response, or response, text, for plain text response. 3.5.HANDLING errors. To handle errors with the fetch API, you can chain a, catch, method to the fetch promise. This allows you to catch any errors that occur during the request. 4. Asynchronous JavaScript. 
Both XML HTTP request and the Fetch API work asynchronously, meaning that the requests are non-blocking. To handle asynchronous code, JavaScript provides various techniques, such as callbacks, promises, and async await.